And today, Police Chief Murphy Paul giving an update on the so-called Brave Cave. The disbanded street crime unit allegedly used a facility as a torture warehouse. Now, the FBI is investigating, and that is creating tension between the chief and the EBR Metro Council. That's right. NBC Local 33, Sydney Simone is live from police headquarters with what the chief had to say today. Sydney. Good evening, Renee. Jacob, new details tonight on the permanently closed Brave Cave. The department actually reveals that a supervisor told officers to get rid of the body camera footage. Officials say transparency is key. Here's what BRPD and city leaders have to say. Four Baton Rouge police officers face multiple charges, including simple battery and malfeasance in the Brave Cave investigation. We learned that a supervisor believe that the contents on that video were violations of our policy and excessive use of force. Those officers are accused of using a local warehouse to beat people and conduct inappropriate strip searches during interrogations. The incident occurred inside of a bathroom at the Baton Rouge Police Department's first district precinct. Chief Murphy Paul goes on to say officers used their taser to get the arrestee to comply. During the incident, an officer hit the male victim, causing drugs to fall from his anal area. Due to that taser being armed, the taser sends a signal to the body camera, and that department issued body camera was activated. The officers didn't realize that the body camera was on until after the incident. During the press conference, Chief Paul also addresses his remarks made at Wednesday night's meeting. And then come here because I don't have legal representation and I got to play lawyer to fight these bad actors. Let's talk facts. I do understand that my delivery yesterday uh, during the city council meeting may not have uh, represented to some my role as a leader. But I do not apologize for standing up for what is right. Although my passion may have offended some, that was not my intention. Since that meeting, a District 8 council member has called for the resignation of Chief Paul, who previously announced his resignation back in July. Let me also stress that the calls by some Metro Council members for his immediate dismissal have nothing to do with the matter at hand which are the very serious allegations about the actions of some members of the street crimes unit. The Civil Service Board is set to approve a new police chief candidate at the next meeting. Mayor Broom has 60 days to make an appointment. He will continue to be the chief of the Baton Rouge Police Department until November. Now, both Mayor Broom and Chief Murphy Paul agree that the process to rebuilding trust within the community starts with holding those responsible, accountable for their actions. Chief Murphy Paul says no one is above the law. Reporting right here outside of the BRPD headquarters, Sydney Simone, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Sydney, thank you for that live report for us this evening.